Fuck you. He's worth two health bring all boulders or not. Even though... I'm a sad beast. Yeah, body's <laughs> Wahoo! Still haven't played as Banjo in Smash. Why? What? He I doesn't? Played it. I thought he... Oh, what? you haven't played Banjo in Smash. I thought you said I thought you said he doesn't play his Banjo in Smash. I was like, yeah, he does. Oh. It's a taunt. <laughs> no, I still haven't played past like the first DLC or whatever. Oh, the first characters. I, I wish that game was fun to play fighter? online because it would be like a thing that we play together in our group. But we like quickly were like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, it is. I, I mean, as, I get I it. Play you as know, Wolf it's... and Ike more. In the in the back in the like the goblin brain of Nintendo. It's like, it doesn't matter because the local multiplayer works stellar, and that's Yuck. all that matters. It was um, bait. Oh, fuck. Not what I was going for. Punk. Nice. Yeah, the, but, uh, I, yeah, mean, no, I would the, like, I wish I could play it more locally, but also, like, that's so rare. It's so rare for that to come up. Yeah, it is. It is tough. It's, uh,. It is why, like, Mario Party and stuff are just pushing real hard for more <laughs> uh, dedicated online You're stuff. dead. I killed you. Was it worth ha -ha. it? Ha-ha. Punk? I mean, he probably thinks so. He's a Mises. <laughs> <laughs> I served my purpose. That was a mortifying moment of, like, <laughs> funny. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 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 It's like a comedian uh, missing a joke in live time and live action. How did I? Mm. Wow! Come on. The generosity played to those frames. It, it, what, what, uh, what was the hitbox like on that? Come on, guys, patch that hitbox out. It's bad. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You know what? Patch I will say I'm really box. glad that I'm, I'm glad Smash is like done, done. Like, as in, we're not getting any more DLC you know, for it, because I'm... People being, like, whiny on Twitter every fucking week. Yeah, like, I'm really glad that people aren't seeing stuff or, like, anything happening in the in Nintendo. Like, oh, a Nintendo game came out, and huh. it's, like, not inundated with a million comments of, like, blah, 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 and Smash win! And you're like, oh my gosh, shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> yeah. I was resigned not... to failure, because I knew we'd never get the real character we needed in Smash. He ain't working awesome today. You. Summer. Oh. Ooh, hot. There's no bee this year. No. <laughs> but I, that's the thing is like I I think I was I was talking about this yesterday and I don't I really I really would have been like super content if Nintendo had just had a smaller roster of characters but had more options for uh for unlocking costumes for them. Like not pay, not even just pay DLC, just uh -oh. like the idea. Of, oh, nope. that's even less what I wanted uh, like, to do. Yeah, like just the idea of like being able to unlock more alternate skins for characters. I think that would be fun. Because like Kirby has some, uh, the new Kirby game has some like amazing color designs for characters, and it's like, yo, I want those colors in Smash. Like what the hell? There's this like radical purple looking uh, King Dedede, and it's like I want that. King I want to play as that Dedede. Yeah, I want to play as Purple Dedede forever. It's I mean, the I'm best. Still, I'm Dedede still mad skin. that you don't. You, there's no Meowser skin. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they had. I don't. I, I, did, did he even have the wedding skin? Yes. Ow, fuck. God damn it. I hate these guys. Yeah, these birds are. Yeah, these birds are giving me trouble. Uh, so yeah, no, there is. Uh, there is the wedding skin. Um, you can definitely play as the wedding outfit in. Uh, Smash Ultimate. I don't think I don't think the wedding. Oh, I don't think everybody has it though. So I don't think like Bowser and Peach have their wedding outfits, which is weird. That's who I was talking about. <laughs> oh, you're talking about Said Bowser? Bowser? Yeah. He should, oh, I'm sorry. I thought I. I think he had like recolors and stuff. I'm like, this is bullshit. He should have Meowser, and he should have his wedding his wedding suit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I don't know what the. Uh, I will die the, I the... as the only fucking. Now, evangelist of uh, of uh, Super Mario 3D World. Go take care of the plant. This is uh, there are more caterpillars around. Hey, I thought. Oh, it's that. It's our old friend Gobby. Yeah. 
attempt to beat the moisture out of him. At all. Oh no, it's you two again. Bobby thought he was. <laughs> <laughs> Projectile vomit onto my plant, please. <laughs> Stop that. It took me ages to find more water. I uh, get it. Go next door to where the water is. <laughs> Oh, wait, yeah, he should have said Seasons, not Ages. I was thinking of the Zelda game. My bad. Oracle of Ages and Seasons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, Banjo's very tiny. Yeah. That was my first Zelda game, I think. Over the week. It was Oracle of Seasons. How funny, it's not even a Nintendo game. Yeah. I didn't know that for a long time. I, I would imagine most people probably still don't, because it's not obvious. It's yeah. very good quality for a non-Nintendo property. Like, also, like, a, a shocking number of the 2D Zeldas are made by Capcom. <laughs> Didn't they also at least uh, make, like, on the Game Boy, they were. or something? Um, yeah, most of the Game Boy uh, Zeldas were handled by Capcom. Did they make Spirit uh, I think tracks? it was just... No. No, they didn't. I don't know which ones they made. Uh, I think the DS they stopped doing. I think they were only for the Game Boy. Those bees aren't uh, moving. Yeah, so, okay, well, normally, nor yeah, normally it just wouldn't load the texture for the bees on the N64. Oh, yeah, they're um, frozen over there, too. But Yeah, but apparently on the trip. 360, it, it loads them, but it just doesn't uh, animate them. But it's, it's fine. Like, this is like a different flowing, kind of lazier version of the other theme. It's almost well, like see. the, uh, it almost sounds like a, a water theme from Mario. So they did, yeah, the only one, the only uh, Capcom Zelda games are Oracle of Seasons, Ages, Four Swords, and the Minish Cap. Ah. That's it. That's all they made. Funny. Oh, there's another Caterpillar. Um, yeah, they. I believe they stopped making, like, once the DS came out, the Nintendo was like, oh, it's 3D again. We can handle this. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. The, um... But they did, uh, but technically, but yeah, Nintendo did also make, um, what's it called? Uh, Link's Awakening, which was also a really good Game Boy Zelda game, but they didn't, yeah, so. Was it a Game Boy game and not a Super Nintendo game? Yeah. Yeah, no, it came out on the Game Boy first. Oh, weird. Actually, never, that's all where it came out. It only came out on the Game Boy. <laughs> it didn't come out until, uh, or it didn't come out on consoles until the Switch remake, but... The uh, but yeah, no. Um, Link's Awakening was only um, nope was only for the Game Boy. Wait, so the oh. what are you thinking? It's the because uh, in Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo I'm, was. I'm Legend just of noticing Zelda. that it was like not that good of a shortcut. The part where you can jump on those on those leaves because you skip stuff that oh, has, yeah. that's full of stuff you need to do. Honey bear, he's after Grunty's golden honey bees. I think you, I think you gotta sting side him, slam Zuba. Or no, kill him. Kill him. Go f fuck. Or just stand there and do invincibility, and they'll die. Got this. Uh, uh. I, it's terrifying. They're just coming out of the floor. <laughs> yeah. Do they? Do it's you like win eventually, or is this a fucking cuckoo? Yeah. <laughs> From Zelda. It's yeah. like the birds never ending. Yeah, they eventually give up. Oh my god. That's why I said you might want to just stand How there. How many must die? Ability. I don't think I have them, uh, feathers. You don't? You run out? There you go. The Zarg, he's beating us. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> we were getting bored of guarding it anyway. Gah? <laughs> Yeah, so we. Hey, nice. So we're doing. We're it's making weird, pretty good progress. It's weird for, that you would think, think that was what you'd be a bee for. Yeah. They trick you. They just don't. Trick you. <laughs> it was lies. Like most Nintendo properties, lies. <laughs> I was talking to, uh, we were talking about nuts and bolts the other day on stream and uh, the, someone was asking like, do I, do I hate nuts and bolts? And don't you hate Banjo-Tooie? 
I hate Banjo Tooie, uh, but I <laughs> so nuts and bolts and, and never I, stood a chance. So I, but here's the thing: I hate nuts and bolts as a Banjo Kazooie game. I think nuts and bolts is a really fun cart building Ugh. game. Like it is really fun to build cars in Banjo Kazooie. That did not advertise it really fun well that to, it was steep. Yeah, no, because you went up a steep that was literally higher than this without any issue prior. So like, their steeps don't even make sense. Um, but yeah, no, like building stuff in, like building cars in Banjo Kazooie and driving them is just the best. It is such a good feeling. But platforming with cars you made is not fun. Or doing like shitty fetch quests with your car is not fun. I thought like, I think a better system would have just been if you had to keep the theming, you can simply just make it so that you have to build a car for each level. So you start a level and someone's like, I want you to race with 16 watermelons in your car. And you're like, all right. And so you have to like, make go a and watermelon build a basket for, for some reason. Yeah, yeah. You got to make like a watermelon basket and build that and then drive around or then do the, what do their quest. You know, like GTA 5. Really? You go into a little zone. Okay. You do the thing. Yeah, right. Um, I don't know why these hills are not too steep. But, oh, oh he's this big old fat bad. Oh, now I'm not ah. eating too many acorns. I've got none left for next winter now. I'll get him out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, he's farting. Oh. He's got the nuts oh. gas. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it before and I'll do it again. I like how Banjo's uh, problem-solving skills are just like, can I ground pound it? Can yeah. I pack it? Will yes. violence solve this? Oh, oh no! Bye! <laughs> well, pff, that sucks. I guess somebody's gonna go and collect a bunch of caterpillars again. <laughs> <laughs> there are too many of them, so it's not like you don't actually have to like collect them well. He needs five. There How are many so did you many get? more How than many I had like eight. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. They are Urware. There's one. I was just trying to get to the top of the mountain, assuming that there was a reason to do so. Yeah, because the bird's up there. So. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I never reached him yet. Yeah. You're you're actually like that was the part you're about to reach him and give him the worms. <laughs> and then from there, that'd be it. There's nothing else you. Uh, and then I died instantly, to... which might happen next time. Possibly. Oh, you gotta very... redo the beavers thing too. <sighs> I mean, that takes two seconds. Yeah, I just I just forgot like all the world changing stuff. I think you also have to redo Gobby's. Oh no, you got. A... Did you get a jiggy for doing the flower? Uh, I don't think so. So then you have to redo the flower too, and I don't think you need to repress the button, but it's worth checking. Yeah, no, you don't need to repress the button. Um, ugh. Ugh, I hate, I hate it so much. There's so many, like, <laughs> moving parts to this map. There's, like, so many, like, side little things that are happening that you need to be building out <laughs> throughout <laughs> each season, <laughs> and if you die in that season, you just reset doing all of those things again. It's just... Do you only reset that season? Yeah, you only reset that season. I was going to say, that sounds like a huge problem if you have to redo every single step in every single season every time you die. No, if it was that bad, I would literally never play this level. I would just skip to Grunty's fucking qu quiz every time and just not bother 100%. Like, you could climb this up, no issue. Like, what the hell? Well, I'm, I'm on a bird. Oh, right, right. Oh, get, you want to get that worm? No. Oh, there's a worm there, huh? Yeah. Okay, we get it. You don't like us. Get the hell out of here, then. Ooh, get some invincibility. We fought ours. I had to go back down. It was a mistake to start climbing. Why do you need to go back down? I only have two caterpillars. There should be more caterpillars on your climb, right? Three, though? Uh, I don't know. That's Wait, how, where'd you find the other ones? All around the level. Like right down there. On the ground level? Oh, okay. You've made your point. Oh, fuck. I was supposed to have a later jump. Well, <laughs> I was not supposed to open yeah. with, with the extra jump. 
Good enough. Hey, and you got your health back. Oh yeah, is Gobby there? No, he's not. Okay, cool. So that didn't change. That's good. I'm fine. Hey, a free one up. Uh, we or not? Ha ha ha. This guy's got glasses on. I didn't even notice he had glasses on. Yeah, because it's summer. <laughs> Goofy ass game. I love it. That's yeah. great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, there you, you found now us. Get... <laughs> There's. Uh... So, are we going to play. Are you going to play every Banjo Kazooie game? Are you going to play Banjo Tooie after this? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's the possibility, but it's like, you know, every time you start a franchise, you're like, you're ready to commit to the whole thing? I'm like, fuck. Like, four more dead sp There's like four more Dead Space games. <laughs> I'm still Are there three. four? I thought there's only three. What's the fourth one? There's a Wii game that's like canon. Oh, it's, supposed to have a it's supposed to have a decent narrative. It's like a rail shooter. Oh, I remember that. It's supposed I to have like one... Well, it's supposed to have one of the better narratives, maybe, or something. I don't know. Well, compared to Rage or anything, it's, it's at least narrative. supposed to be better than expected. And it's like, it's just a rail shooter, so I doubt it's very long. I think it's called Dead Space Extraction or something. I think it takes place, like, right after... fucking rail I takes, shooter? I think it takes place, like, right after the main game or something? The first game? After the first game? Oh. Yeah, in the same place. That's interesting. It might be before the first game. I think it might have continuity where you, keep, where you get to see like various oh. characters when they're still alive and stuff. Maybe maybe it takes place. Maybe it's supposed to be like part of the. Wait, it actually, it wasn't, it that, wasn't it that actually, the animation? It actually might be like the the outbreak that happens. It might it might I be thought... like the actual outbreak. But, like I'm still trying to get through the so 50 long. billion Yakuza games and blah blah blah. It is a prequel to the original game. When are you going to play okay, every yeah, Resident I, Evil and every Devil it, May Cry, which is a mission I had once for some reason. I thought what was the what was the show? Wasn't there like a Dead Space show or something called? Or a webisode called series. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Was it not a what was the movie? I'm back. It was you like some fuck. There was some Dead Space movie. What was the Dead Space movie called? I got tech. Not like the actual movie called Dead Space. Oh, Downfall. <laughs> That's what it was called. <laughs> Downfall and Downfall and Aftermath is what it was called. Those were the two no, ones. No, 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 no. I'm alive. <laughs> These birds are literally your like. That thing's your evil. Kryptonite. It's on a, it's surrounded by gaps. Like you have to fight it on its platform yeah. that it hits you on. Like what the fuck? No, you can you jump and peck at the same time while you're I'm jumping. trying, it doesn't work. I don't know what's oh, up. Yeah, you do also have to time it. Where oh. the fuck are these? You lost, you <laughs> lost it all. Got one. <laughs> I have no idea if I, how many I grabbed. <laughs> <laughs> what is... What is... Is this a real thing? Are you still fix oh, it in the like Dead Space movie. games? No, there's a there's a Dead Space movie from 1991. I was like, what is this? Is this like, oh, it's a coincidence. Like this, yeah, I was like, is this the source material, or is this just a shitty happenstance? And he's like, no, it's just a happenstance. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's the movie with the gay robot. Ah, oh, fuck. No further questions. All right, well. I'll just accept that as canon. I wonder if him and the uh, robot from... The... What was that movie called? Shit. Lost in Space. There you go. What if him and the robot from Lost in Space are friends? <laughs> Come on, baby. Lick my battery. Uh, I don't mean those kind of friends. <laughs> That's, uh, why the Concord's not quoted. Histor not historical friends. <laughs> Histor- Oh! They're just friends. <laughs> The more the more that It'll... I like see that that commonality and trend, I think it's just like kind of hilarious that you would <laughs> like what like what what is the what what do you just the what complete is the downside refusal to of... acknowledge any homosexuality in history? Yeah, like 
like it's it's so weird too because it there are like the there are so many i don't know i i i guess it's it is funny to me when you see how a lot of western countries tend to be really like heavy well except for the british i guess because to be fair they got rightfully destroyed by them but like at least in the u.s especially we are incredibly uh have hard-ons for the roman for romans and i they didn't seem to have any problem with this it seemed to be like a very unique uh unique to us problem um but like but then, yeah but then you look at like why oh God, what, are you, what are you doing why did you fly at him no you i definitely pecked what the fuck? You can see oh and hear God. it start. Like it's so it's so frustrating. No, I, I need oh to do God. more research on the Romans, but I think there's a lot to unpack there about that being less accurate than people portray it as being. Let's I see. thought they were pretty not like not not that they were I don't know, going around and like having pride parades, but I didn't think that they were like anti-homosexuality. I thought they were pretty just kind of like, they shrug and just said like, I don't give a shit, just pay your taxes. <laughs> like <laughs> They're like weirdly shitty about it with the, uh, there's a lot of stigma stigma towards bottoms, basically. Where it's like, it's like, it's oh, that the, makes sense. there's like yeah. this idea that if you have sex, like the person dominating basically isn't gay, essentially. Oh. oh. But there's like a completely okay. different reaction to the person receiving, which is weird, because like, once again, it's like up there with the whole approach to like the way that like men are like are supposed to derive like value from having sex, but women are supposed to be devalued by having sex. It's like this sure seems like an ideology that lets you have less sex. <laughs> Isn't that the thing you're trying to to have? Why are you creating a world well, of you that it, actively removes your ability to have more of it? Yeah, but I guess the idea is it creates control, right? It creates a uh... well, yeah, it's misogyny. Yeah, which is misogyny, often but... about controlling the bodies and reputations of women. It's like in ways it's for like the, for the like, end result know, maybe, of not having more sex. Maybe let them like, have which is a feel weird... good about yeah. It's like maybe let them feel good about having sex <laughs> if you want to have sex all the time. I feel like this really a, is an incredibly counterproductive. I I feel like that that has to be a reaction to people who aren't who don't actually know what a like don't know what pleasure is. Like, you don't have that mindset if you don't know what real pleasure is, is the way that I think about it. Because it's, I don't know, like, it, you, you can't be getting really good, enthusiastic uh, enjoyment out of one person just basically not having a good time, right? It's not, there's no, I don't know, it's, I'm trying to think, it's like, it's like watching. It's weird manosphere uh, shit. Yeah, it's like I don't. But the I, stuff that leads to people like, yeah, being like, like the female orgasm is act, that serves no purpose and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was about to say. It's like, like stuff like that is such a stuff. weird. Like, like, why would you even want to believe that? Wouldn't you want to believe it's true? Because then that that like, wouldn't that increase your confidence level? It, it leads to people talking about show... the sexual marketplace and like chin shapes and <laughs> shit. It's so fucking weird. <laughs> the sexual marketplace. It's that's unironically the terms they use. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that a wet market? It's it's a <laughs> no because the, the women aren't having a good time. Oh no! <laughs> it's a pretty dry market actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like how Fucking... do you? Oh my god! No 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 no! Come on! Oops. How do how do you not? How do you not notice how stupid you sound when you espout stuff from a clearly easy to clown on group of people? I don't, uh, I don't it's know. a bunch of black pilled sad people that like are so resigned <laughs> to the idea of being unhappy that they'll listen to some idiot that knows he's lying say bullshit at them and they'll believe him. And it's like there's I've these channels heard, have like so, well, some of these channels that before. What is there's that? so many there's so many of these channels that over a, have over a million subscribers and they just say lies all day? Like poorly thought out no, lies. There's so much like you believe there's magic, no way out of like, a problem. Brain, there's so much like brain decoding of uh, of women that all is like trying to avoid the uh, like the very simple solution of s s talking to them. <laughs> yeah, no! but you have to you, you have to talk to them respectfully. And let's be honest terrifying. here, gross. That was terrifying. 
Oh, did you look? At, did you? Oh, were you saying you didn't know what black pill was? Yeah, I didn't know. I've never heard that before. Um, oh wow. Yeah, God, I, I'm I, so terminally online. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I need you to stop being online ever oh. again. Um, I, yeah, I've never heard of that before, but that is a very hilarious, uh, <laughs> hilarious pill yeah, that Bob is swallowing it all. Shit. Like, <laughs> which I have to say is the hardest group of like. I, I guess you would, that's definitely terminally online. That, that's the, the biggest group, or that's the hardest group of terminally online people to not mock are, are incels. How do you just not, is like everything about it is like, what is your end goal? Like you, if you don't, there it is. if you really don't want the thing that you are a clearly so radicalized about having, I can, I can, I can give you one pro tip. Don't be that. Like if you, if you don't want to be if you don't want to uh, be involuntary, you full now. Needs more sleep. Bye. Don't be part of that group. That's it. It's easy. It's like a self-regulating you... group that ensures that anybody in it stays in it. Yeah, it's like you can, it, and it's not to say that you, there is. It's a. It is true that you can struggle to find a partner, and you could be involuntary but celibate, have, but you're not that an incel. Group that has like no real advice. Yeah, like it's not gonna help you. Like. It, I don't know. It, it's a weird. It's a weird place. Like you can. Yeah, there's. It's. I don't know. There's the there's the weird ideology and the terminology and whatnot, and then there's like, uh, just the thing that it describes, which is just not having sex. Yeah, like you. Which is you, not, you can. They're not it, the same thing. It's not. Yeah, and so it's like just just you can if you don't want to be one thing, that's fine. You know, like if you don't want to be involuntary celibate, that's fine. I good for, for you. Reason. Go try to, I don't know, look around. Probably not. You can, like, go and try to have a good time or something. Wow. You know, I don't know. Meet, talk to people like a human being does. Not weird and creepy. Just not transactional. Just talk to them like humans. Um, oh. And have a good time. But don't, like, I don't know, man. The moment you start saying weird shit, like, uh, start saying, like, Chad's and Stacy's, I'm <laughs> I don't know, man. I can't. I can't Stacey's like. How do you? Chads. How do you not? Oh, how do you not shit. like immediately? Oh, oh my okay. god! Good <laughs> save. How do you? How do you not like just start cracking up? You sound like a clown. I think I'm done. Like you. I think you're done for the season. I think you need to go what? to uh, fall. Okay. Not that kind of fall, but like the other kind of fall. But it's, I don't know, it's just too, it's too comical that you cannot be, you can't say that stuff with a straight face. It's like hearing flat earth people. Like, you can't be saying this to yeah. me with a straight face. I don't, I don't believe you. Like, you have to be joking or it's all, something. It's all this weird, it's the same thought patterns that lead to you just trying to accept the idea that you just have the answers and the solutions that are often simplifying, or the lack of answers that are simplifying in a way that leads, yeah, to like, uh, flat Earth and uh, climate change denial and racism and so on. They're becoming this like race realist and stuff. And I have I know the answers <laughs> about and I know all the real answers about women and how they actually work. Me too, it's bud. Me a too. fascinating mess. Bear get eerie. More caterpillars need ten this time. No. Oh no. Do you still have your leftover one? Do they carry I over? I don't know. I don't know either. I, I think the best... To me, my, my favorite view of that is uh, is that, like, you, people say... Yeah, people say that. We're like the... Uh, I know, you know, I know how that all works. But they don't even understand how they, how they work themselves. Like, they're yeah. often generally people who are experiencing yeah, issues Bruce or problems Yeah, Bruce V and shit. Like, there's really embarrassing people. And usually their fault, life's yeah. falling apart. And, yeah, uh, or even like and, Jordan Peterson. Is yeah, a good I was example. about to say Jordan like, Peterson's a fucking like, trade wreck, and he's supposed yeah, to be an advice like the, person. The, I, and he says all of this creepy shit about like the sexual marketplace yeah. but and, he's, with, like, he's how like, women he will that... only trade up. They'll only they'll only uh, couple with people that are equal or higher than them, and men always have to settle for people that are equal or lower to them. And like that's a f that's kind of fucked up. What? <laughs> also, it's also like on average. Women put a lot more work into themselves than men do, so what the fuck is this ranking system anyway? Yeah, I was gonna say, when was the last time you tried to doll up and look good for a partner? I mean, I, I'm not asking the Jordan Peterson, I know the answer. I'm, but I'm just <laughs> asking, like, 
Uh, it's, it's he's also the one that has like the the iconic uh, like a clean room is a sign of like true masculinity or something. And his and he's too busy like dying of meat sweats right now. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> I fuck it, I don't think I even need that. <laughs> My poor search history, what is happening here? What is <laughs> no, you're not gonna get, meat, that's a joke. You're not gonna find results for meat oh. sweats. <laughs> like, I mean, you will. In that... Are meat sweats a real thing? <laughs> yeah, but it's referring to the, how it's referring to sweating because you're eating a lot of meat. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm reading all this greasy shit. Like, oh, I got the meat sweats. <laughs> so he's saying you're he's not, like a, he's like a high, you're, you're he's a, a high protein you're not gonna male. Like. You're, not gonna get a, you're not gonna get a result for Jordan Peterson on that specifically. But no, he he keeps he keeps he keeps advocating this meat only diet, and like there's this infamous there's this infamous clip where uh, he's oh there you go. Right, that's it. Right, that's I'm it. off to the lava world. You'll never find me there. There's another world. No. <laughs> uh, jokes on you, bud. They canceled it. Oh, and um, they just left the text in. No, it's a. I believe it's a reference ah, to. So I think it's a reference to something. I, I want to say, maybe? yeah, I think too, you might have a lava world or something. But I think it's just like it was an offhand joke. Um, uh, ah! Wow. Yeah, you're gonna need to be a B for that one, or not? Uh -uh. I guess you can do it that way. I guess I stopped holding nice. the trigger. Yeah, that's what happened. So I accidentally turned yeah, it off. Yeah, I think. But no, yeah, he, uh, uh, he's advocating this meat-only diet. Oh fuck! Not again. And uh, he was on the Joe Rogan show, and he talked, and he claimed that this was it like the sulfates in orange juice took him out of commission for a month. He had one glass what? of orange juice, and it completely like destroyed him for an for an eternity. And it's like you're supposed to be selling us on the idea that this meat diet's good. It sounds like it defeated you, and you were like you turned into like a piece of paper defeated by orange juice. <laughs> like you couldn't handle even basic variations in your diet anymore. Like, what the fuck? Was this supposed I, to be, like, a, I, a selling point? I mean, I, I I hate to break it to him, but I, as a as a clear Sigma male, he I can never... eat anything. I have no I have no allergies, I have no uh, <laughs> dispositions to anything. I can drink 15 glasses of orange juice and not be taken out. I mean, you have and multiple allergies. And I can allergies. also eat meat. Uh, uh, I have multiple allergies to animals and uh like and pollen there are none, and... There are, yeah, I mean, you can't have milk or caffeine. Well, I can eat them though. I can, I can, <laughs> yeah, I can just them. go for it and just like have yeah, a bad but, time. I'm like, all right. Yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't kill me. Weird it doesn't put flex, me in a hospital. Okay. So, yeah, it, you know what? I, hey, if he's flexing that orange juice kills him, I'm gonna flex that orange juice doesn't kill me. I win. <laughs> I mean, wow, solved it. One of us can, one of us can clearly die from ingesting something. I won't. So. <laughs> I just poop a lot more. That's fine. I'll take a poop, but I, I don't have to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's fine. The uh, yeah, that's that. I don't. I don't trust anybody who's gonna give you medical advice that isn't wearing a a, a white lab coat and is in like incredibly unhuman re, um, unhuman amounts of debt. Like he just, unless he just has a long at, history of just being a train wreck and not having his look? not having his uh his uh, his. Affairs and order and so together. on. <laughs> yeah, like, it's just always been falling Didn't apart. He, and he's always seems like he's on he the verge of like, dying or something. And it's like, I don't know, maybe not the best source of advice for life. That's fine. I'm, I'm sure. Trust this guy. I'm sure it's. Uh, yeah, I know multiple I'm, people I'm sure like, who uh, who have. And it's like, no, 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 no. I think. Uh, I think the problem I just had a, is. I had a friend that met up with his family, and. <laughs> It's Jordan fucking... Peterson's family? No, with his family. Oh, oh. And, <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> and like his, like found out that his, like his dad was uh, was re was getting into Jordan Peterson. It's like, no, 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 no. Why does it keep happening? That's why? Do, why do people like he's not? Is he, is he is he charismatic somehow? Like I don't understand how people are getting pulled into this because he just it's says because weird he's a, bullshit. Yeah. But he's, all, he's validating people, right? He's, he's an validating infuriating like, pseudo-intellectual where he just says a lot of words and hopes you don't think about any of it. Yeah. He just well, it's does like, not yeah, it's like ben stop Shapiro talking, whatever. but it's like, like a mess. You, ben Shapiro has yeah, a different theatrics where him. he like, he goes after people with no media training and like shuts them down, mostly with like one-liners and quips and without actually having a real debate. And then it's seen as him like defeating them in the marketplace of ideas when he didn't, he almost never actually addresses their thoughts. 
And even if he does, like, outmaneuver somebody, it's like, that was just some dude. Like, and you pr and you had prepared answers that would sound like good quips that they didn't know you were gonna say. So then they're just like, oh fuck, he said that thing, and they're not, and they're not, they're not like, ah -ha! They don't have their own prepared answer for your prepared answer, so it's like, this isn't a real Oh, go in the beaver hole. Let's see if you can go to the beaver go hole. Go in the beaver uh, hole! <laughs> yeah, the beaver hole. The, I... That's the thing, though, is like, you can... If you've ever done a real debate club or class, you would know that this guy is a fraud. Like, a uh, like real debate is well, yeah, not... Ben Shapiro's... It's, it's a rough Ben time. Shapiro's arguments like, do not stand up well to being recorded. Because <laughs> then you can actually well, think about too, them yeah. afterwards I mean, and be like, Hang on a minute. <laughs> No, that made any sense. Oh, wait a sec. Are you lying? Just to one me? small second, Ben. Sell their houses to who? I think you're <laughs> lying, Sharpie. It's apparently where we went with this episode. But it's. I don't know. It's. It, but I didn't so, know that Keith videos the, got political. They, they are. This isn't political. This is uh, socioeconomic. Um. <laughs> Uh, Why this, would there uh, be any uh, political-ish videos on like a gay furries channel? <laughs> He's never dealing yeah, with shit. <laughs> yeah, this isn't this. The isn't whole incel talk. conversation is, uh... happening. I'm like, yeah, imagine being gay. <laughs> yeah, how does that work? Are are you uh? Are what, you allowed was... to be part of the sigma male <laughs> lifestyle? Sigma if you're male. Not, uh... Yeah, are you allowed to? Dude, are, the, I mean, those... yeah. Obviously, uh, you could be whatever you want to be. There is no law here, but yeah. I just meant like, since they're all made will the group up. accept you? Yeah, like, will the group accept but, you? But that was the uh, <laughs> the thing I was hinting at was the idea of like, like obviously incels and people who are involuntarily celibate or something are not the same thing inherently because literally all closet gays. <laughs> but the uh... <laughs> just imagining like the meme of someone like, yeah, I can relate. No, no, not like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the that well that that itself is its own ongoing joke, especially with like trans creators and stuff. Like, why do I, why do I find this uh, this channel so relatable and interesting? Like, everything's really com like, I don't know why I just keep watching this channel's videos all the time, and then they come out as trans, <laughs> and then it's like, oh, oh no, and then it's like two years later. They've that been radicalized trans. though, Keith. We can't let them keep getting away with this. Well, it's just like this ac this like this accidental realization that you're trans and so on. But uh. No, the, the Sigma male thing is funny because th there's like the manosphere eats itself and they cannot decide whether uh, Keanu Reeves is secretly trans or if he's the Sigma male. <laughs> like, he's either what? the ultimate Wait, what? example what of all masculinity trans? or he's he... trans. How would he be secretly trans? I mean, that's just, that's, oh man, you have not been online much. <laughs> you don't know how fuck these groups I, are. Look, I, you don't know how I many online, people are accused it's... of being secretly trans nowadays. What? What does that even mean? Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Seek? Like, they don't want to say anything because they're afraid they're gonna be uh, canceled or something? What? I, I don't, I don't get it. Isn't the, isn't right now the, this is the era of hyper liberalism and wokeness and everyone's trans or whatever? I don't get it, man. They, they, I mean, it's uh, not. Your, you can't decode it logically. It's always a mess. These things. Are, are when you I say fighting a war? Or are I say, you the war? I say secretly I don't trans. I think they mean like, as in like they pass. Like they, they're just accepted oh, okay. as being wait, the cis. Wait, <laughs> they, think, they think Keanu Reeves is has has had tra has transitioned, and we just can't tell. Like we are just we've all been led astray. We've all been uh, bamboozled, so to yeah, speak. Yeah, the idea like, that, he's, that the, the idea would be that he's a trans man. What? Not like a recent change. Like he was always trans and. They're like, oh, but I can tell. They always. That's an that's an endlessly like ongoing thing. Is there's always the claim that that, that like they can tell and they super can't tell what? because they they end up harassing cis people while being completely oblivious to trans people. What the hell? What do you? What? Do, okay. Now I've met okay. some trans people now, that just now, like it, they just live with no one in their life knowing they're trans because like they moved after they transitioned and they just don't tell anybody, and no one can tell. Because that's just the reality of it. Like, the idea that people can tell so easily is, like, completely... It's just... It's it's fictional bullshit. It's up there with, like, when people call themselves an empath. Which just means that they okay. make assumptions about how somebody's feeling or whether they're telling the truth and so on. And then they just... 
assume they're right about whatever their gut feelings are. And like, I'm such an empath, and like, they're usually the most irritating fucking people on the planet. I hate people that call themselves empaths, because they're usually narcissists. I... I, fortunately, I definitely will never think of myself as such. Um, <laughs> Shocked. I, I don't. I, I do. I will say I, I am scared of that. Like if someone came up to me as like, I am empathetic I, or uh, I'm an empath. I'd be like, what? Are, uh, isn't just having empathy normal? Like, what is that? Uh, how well, How do you like? Why would you escalate no, it's this, that? Why would you this escalate idea, having empathy? <laughs> it's this idea from like horoscope type people that think they can like feel people's like how people are feeling at like, all times and they like can see psychically what, and or like, something and like, yeah essentially it's essentially inventing a psychic power that's basically what they're doing like they're just oh then i'm so definitely i'm definitely an to like auras and micro like expressions and so on that they can always tell exactly how you feel and so on but they're actually just narcissists that tell themselves that okay. and don't check it and also like actively uh avoid any evidence that contradicts them <laughs> What is like? What is the? They're infuriating. So this is like it, how how much has magic grown as a subgenre? Like there's so <laughs> much magic now, right? Yeah, like some kind of gathering. I I wish that was that was Man, easy to, to find what magic. notes I'm missing. Clear is rules. Suck. <laughs> but like, what is what is empath? Like or guy is, yeah, what is these, being like, an empath? Really like, sad acorns hiding from him because they don't want to get, get eaten. devoured. Oh, uh, what? pillars. Wow. This is just a room of things to be eaten. Next, the squirrel. <laughs> hey, I, I got yeah, I don't, I don't know. Hey, nice. I don't, I don't know, man. It's, it's there's so much like weird wizardry shit, and I don't understand how. I, I guess it's like a, a, it's a lower tier of religion, right? You don't want to commit to something as organized as religion, but you want something magical to believe in. Like you want to feel like there's some kind of. Uh, What's the word? Um, oh, no, no, oh, get it. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you committed in all the wrong ways. It's real bad the, uh, when you bump that. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't, it's like, frogs it's like or some birds that are you, doing the theme now. That's nice. Is there, I, I don't know. It's like, is it, it, it feels like you have control, yeah. maybe? Is that what it is? You feel like you have some control over your life I mean, when you. Oh fuck! Well, that didn't oh, work. I'm out. about to die. Oh no! Oh. I'm in a bad place. Might need to get some help. Yeah. Uh, there's like a narcissism to it. There's like this element of like, have you ever had to deal with like an, a habitual liar? Yeah. Yeah. Because like, that's a whole My thing. Myself, no. <laughs> 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 there's just. There's people who lie constantly, and it's like they can't stop. And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, it's like natural. And like, and like everyone around them can usually tell that they're lying all the time, and you just kind of like they just have that reputation about it, but they don't think they have that reputation about it because like they like they don't filter think out all that the evidence. Yeah, they, they like actively filter out all yeah. the evidence that people even notice that they're lying when like everyone like to the point where like. They become people that everyone around them talks oh. about, and, and the, way, the way they lie, and so on. It's just this whole fucking thing. I know a few of them, and they're really frustrating people. Uh, and you just learn to just fucking move on, essentially, instead of dealing with it, because it never works. It's just like a night you don't... Yeah, you don't even try to acknowledge. Yeah. You, like, like, you don't they're... acknowledge the lie, it's just kind of like a... We all agree that this person's lying undercover yeah. thing. But you can like, tell that they just terrifying. like they need to be the most interesting person in the room, and they need to f mm. and they need to be the smartest person in the room. So they always have to like they they make things up about themselves to be interesting, but they also like will make up facts about things to be interesting, like to sound like mm. the smart and informed person. They'll just like if they'll just talk out their ass about something they know nothing about, and it's really obvious when they do it to the person to a person that knows way more about the thing, and they'll just like hard yeah. commit, and it's just. It's just such a thing, but it's like, yeah, it's like this element of like feeling smarter and more and more powerful and important and so on. And it's like, it's just how people Makes are sense. sometimes. It's deeply frustrating. And that ties into all of these topics of like this need to like know the answers to the world in absurd ways. That, that I, makes is sense. There, is there still I, a jiggy here? I def yeah, there's a jiggy down there. there I, I definitely understand the 
it's weird i understand the need to be or like the need to be interesting there is this weird like societal expectation oh that, that was you, a when leaf you, yeah it's not a real leaf unfortunately it looks like it um i understand like the weird gut feeling you have the moment you speak where you're like uh oh maybe i shouldn't have done this without having something way more interesting to say mm -hmm. uh and so i get the the knee jerk the knee jerk, knee jerk reaction like i i definitely know like it like especially when i was younger i used to do that where i used to like try to not lie but embellish like be a little bit more extreme about the things that i say rather than just saying it very boring and plainly but not like maliciously not in the intent to deceive not in the intent to like uh to create a false reality i guess more of just to like it'd be more of like a what is it how would you explain this it's like uh you're trying you're trying to create a you're trying to garner a specific reaction out of people which is like ex, it's like storytelling like you're trying to garner the excitement of the listener rather than trying to create no. A, oh no you see why i love this map this whole zone's <laughs> yeah great, i'm getting right? really fact, tired of this level constant. uh uh -huh. I'm getting really tired of this level. I remember it as being yeah. the, uh, I remember the, uh, <laughs> the part about the, uh, time stuff, but I did not remember the part where you have to climb the same fucking tree 70 times. It's not and that's great. Like, it's, it's, it's my number like, one hated map. It sucks, like Climbing dude. this tree is most of the level, and you just climb this one tree over and over again, and it's mostly the same yeah. pattern. Oh, yeah. But, I got distracted yeah, no, by the I, fact I, that so... I spot the, I think, what might be the last acorn. So I don't know. It's uh, it's tough. I can't really, uh, I I am not able to be an em empath to uh, to people who do it, even though I have uh, an understanding of it's of like why it happens. But it is dumb. Like uh, uh, above all else, it's one of those things. Like I I do know that like after say like after telling a story in that way, it would definitely immediately like I would just feel shitty. It's like oh. Oh. I probably didn't need it. Yeah, it's like I didn't need to do that. I, I don't. It didn't matter. It doesn't matter if people thought my story was interesting, right? It doesn't. You know, I'm not like a fucking story time YouTuber. I don't really <laughs> care if I don't get, uh, if I don't get a bunch of likes, retweets, and shares on my story. It doesn't matter. I'm shocked sometimes um, the, the, about the standard for a, a story time YouTuber's stories being interesting. <laughs> Yeah, right. there well, are there are definitely. It sure, took a lot of work for you guys to to make an animation or whatever. Or a, it's an animatic or whatever of this uh, whatever story. <laughs> but okay. Yeah, yeah. I remember there's. I, I remember following one person whose stories were. I, I there was like a point. Oh, oh, you killed it. It just you just also fell down. Uh, yep. There's. I remember like seeing some of the stories where I get. I got that feeling where I'm like, okay, are you like an. Are you making stuff up? This is like way cr either like you are the most interesting man alive, right? Or you are like you're not a hundred percent here. There's like some some story storytelling elements going on here, or you're like not like I don't know, man. It just it it feels it feels weird to say that somebody's a liar. I guess it feels so accusatory and so directly. Yeah, uh, like which is harsh. why people get away with uh, it to an extent is because there's. Yeah. One, it's, it's like low consequence usually, but not always. And uh, sometimes they'll spread yeah. shit about people that didn't happen. Uh, yeah, that's that's malicious. I, yeah. I I definitely mean more of like you know. And then I did a kickflip ollie on the street, and you're like, okay, cool, that was great. Like, but it's also like they're, they're like, like narcissism is relying on the idea that you won't confront them over their obvious lies. So it's like, and uh, that makes it frustrating because it's like it feels actively disrespectful to just be lied to your face, and you know that they're lying and then they just keep going and it's like do you think i'm stupid or something or like would you just don't respect me enough that you think you could just get away with just overtly mm -hmm. lying this entire time like what, what's what's up bud i wonder what's, if there's any what's going yeah, on i wonder if there's any correlation there like what is what is the trigger for people to start doing that is it like a natural process is it uh like uh i don't know like an experience in life like did you find a necessity to need to be interesting I mean, in order to survive or is it like what is what's like the trigger for people to I mean, do that i think that? there's I people that do it on curious. purpose and then people that do it like pathologically and then in that, in that case it's like a it's a disorder probably that's crazy just an infuriating hey, i one. couldn't imagine 
Yeah, I couldn't imagine being uncontrol- like, I couldn't control yourself buying. That sounds cr like, you just ask someone like, hey, uh, did you buy cereal at the store? And they're like, yeah, and it's like, you could just say no, you don't get punished for that. Just like, just go go buy cereal from the store, why would you yeah, lie, and then it's not oh, yeah. there, and then I'm gonna go and oh, check. Yeah, that's that's like, very yeah. different, Lang. <laughs> Well, yeah, I just meant the like the, the idea that you that's just like consequence avoiding. Like, yeah, but I meant that's like a, that's like the normal kind of lying. lying. Is it? Yeah. Is there a normal kind of lying? Oh, oh there's no river here. Oh, that's, no. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> oh my god. I think I don't think was there any setups that you had to do during the spring or during the fall? You already got the thing for the nuts. I think that's it. I don't let's, think the bird resets. The bird let's went find to out if he so asks I think... for, for fucking worms again. Oh yeah, yeah. If he asks for worms, God, I hope not. <laughs> the fucking Fernando. Nice. All right. You already you already gave him worms, so you he's good. Bastard. Uh, I think there's jiggies in here somewhere, but I don't have time no, for that. No, no, you're it's time to go. Oh, are there jiggies still in here? I think that yeah. Try oh, to remember, yeah. Maybe try there. to remember that. I think there's jiggies in a fly trap. And it's like I need. I, I need, think. I need B mode. But we're out of time today. Yeah. Yeah. Mwah, 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 mwah. Mwah, mwah. Hope you enjoyed podcast that had. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even confirm it or anything. It just goes. <laughs> it's kind of yeah, startling. It's like, okay, bye. Whoops, you're dead, and a copy of you has been created in Gruntilda's lair. <laughs> Teleport problem. Uh, no, because <laughs> you know? this is magic. Magic doesn't follow that problem. I don't know, man. If you're disintegrating, I'm not trusting it. I want to go through a portal. I want to risk time and more... space being crushed. Is... Well, if, you, if you're teleporting in any real way, you're being deconstructed some, in one place and reconstructed somewhere else, most likely. But if you're going through a portal, like that, you're, you're just you. It's it's reality that has to break first. <laughs> I don't know, man. Can like, does everything come through a portal? Is there some stuff that's not portal friendly, like clothes? Like, I don't know what the limits here are. I don't trust that. My understanding like, of what, a portal is, it, is that it's, like, in my universe, a portal is just a fucking opening you walk through. And it, from your perspective, you don't feel anything. Like, it's just, like... Like, it's, it's just a door? Yeah. I don't mean, like, a weird mm -hmm. vortex you stick through. Like, oh, man, is this okay? And you stick your hand in. Like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Like, that's I mean, what like, I'm thinking. I mean, like, a, I mean, like, an opening. Like, that's just, like... Oh, like a Doctor Strange portal? Or you just see right through it, and you're like, yeah, oh, that's the yeah, living absolutely. room. You just walk or, like, it. portal, okay. portal. Yeah, oh, gotcha. that's what I mean when I say a portal. Okay. Like, that's pretty sure you're okay in those... The only thing you can worry about those in those, those is you might be in a different world. <laughs> and it might, my, yeah, you, my, might be, uh, you might be changing dimensions every time and not knowing it. And so you get to have that question about everyone besides you now. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, my head is always, like, the, the Rick and Morty or Stargate portals, where it's, like, a, a, a twisty, twiny looking mess and you're just like I guess it's gonna bring me somewhere like the the guess like not knowing where it goes kind of yeah thing. that's just an oh. animation cheat because they can just plop that nasty thing just wherever they want yeah Phantom, Phantom that, that makes sense well Dude, these are hard right, to stock up for... on considering that it's sometimes the only thing you can do yeah right. yep see you guys next time mm -hmm.